Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Jason here for Chart Guys, taking a look at our coronavirus names. We're going to do all the tickers in one video today and see how that goes. APT is the starting ticker. Right now, it's all about $10 psychological. That was the low of day from Friday. It was a low of day from today's test. And 10 psychological is the must hold level for the bulls. If we lose 10 psychological, our next daily support is at 833. And we're almost in a daily equilibrium. It's not quite right because we've got our high our low, lower high, which is weird. And then possibly, now possibly if we can hold $10 support, we got a higher low. If that breaks, like I said, it's all downhill. So it really comes down to what are the bulls going to do with this level tomorrow and where can we hold? On the four hour time frame, we go and zoom in there. We can see this overall tightening range that slowly gives way. It's not a quick drop, but we do see us come down grinding this uh, $10 support. No real pattern that we can see on the four or the hourly time frame. It's just sort of skipping along. And I guess we can look at this as having an area of resistance in the area of 1081. So what we're gonna do is draw resistance from our high over here of pre-market 1081. We're also gonna be paying attention to today's high of day at 1097, almost 12 psychological. So there's a real battle that's gonna take place between 10 support and 12 resistance somewhere in here someone's going to make a decision either we're going to start setting higher lows and higher highs on the hourly and changes hourly trend or we're going to lose ten dollar support and head down to that 833 area so that's what i'm watching for going into tomorrow bulls need to manage and maintain a higher low over ten dollars in order to do pretty much anything at this point lake on the daily time frame we're going to go ahead and purge our charts I'm always cleaning up my charts, always trying to get a fresh perspective and not letting old information cloud my judgment. Beautiful inside bar today. Not a lot of clarity on the daily time frame, so we're going to be paying attention to our key levels, which are going to be our low of day and high of day, because that's what an inside bar is all about. 1730 and 1609. We are in, uh, I don't want to say we're in good shape on the part of the bulls, but we did manage to hold and defend EMA 12 and EMA 20, EMA 8, it looks like. Uh, with that beautiful inside bar so what we want to do is see bulls strong and break 1730 the upside if we are able to do that resistance is going to be 1880 if we lose 1609 our next support is from friday low 1787 and then i don't see much in the way of support till uh 1430. if we go to the four hour time frame we can see their sideways channel zones of support and on the hourly we are getting into not an equilibrium again, but we are getting a little bit of a tightening range. And that's what that inside bar is representative of. Break 1730. Like I said, resistance is going to be 1880. Let's go take a look at CODX. This is our four hour chart and it is not shaping up quite in the beautiful equilibrium that we wanted to, uh, to see develop. So we're going to go ahead and just delete this nice wavy line, but we're still interested in this overall tightening range. It's just not going to be that perfect equilibrium. So we see that developing here, quite a range, and so far bulls have managed to defend our key support right now, is which is EMA 26, and we have 832 support as well. On the four hour time frame, we are trending down slightly. This is gonna be a stronger hourly downtrend, but bulls need to establish a good support over 832 on the hourly time frame and change this trend. Otherwise, if we lose 832, we don't have that support until 557. And let's take a look at that hourly time frame to get a better idea of what that actually looks like so here is this overall hourly downtrend and even though we got a higher high here as opposed to this high we failed to maintain higher lows and when we did finally find a find finally find a higher low we only got a lower high so it is an overall ugly downtrend currently rejecting from our ema 12 and if we do see that continued rejection 832 is the next support there in order to change this trend bulls need to carve out this higher low as support and then break over top of $11.01, so just 11 psychological is the level to watch there. VIR. So again, cleaning our charts. VIR has had three days in a row of downside activity, lower lows, lower highs, and I can so sort of see a tightening range here. The question I always ask is when I'm watching this tightening range, is this a wedge and does it make sense on a smaller time frame? So whenever I'm scanning through charts, I'm always looking at my candlesticks that represent the macro version of the story, and then I want to investigate if an investigation is warranted. But here we see our nice little uptrend indecision, uh, spinning top indecision, doji and then we see this overall tightening range that i just see 
ever so slightly. So we've got a couple of key supports. We've got a low of day. If we lose low of day, then I suspect we'd go down and test 2741 bulls. We need to establish a daily higher low over top of that. On the four hour time frame, we can see the nice little round to top four hour downtrend. Gonna look better on the hourly and there that is. And this is where we start to see if we can't find ourselves a little bit of a wedge. I don't like it on the hourly, but maybe we can get some more data that might make a little bit more sense for us on the 15 minute. I think I take a lot of liberties here drawing in this chart, but that would be my uh, support line. And then what I wanna do, just see what makes the most sense here. I'm, I'm gonna focus primarily on regular trading hours and I'm gonna ignore a lot of the after hours data, but this is sort of the overall range. Let's go back to that daily, see if we encompass most of that. And we do, it's not a perfect ascending wedge or descending wedge, but it does show us this overall pattern that we're seeing of, of tightening price action in regular trading. We're ignoring a lot of pre-market. We're ignoring a lot of other data over here, but we're trying to tell a generalized story that something's coiling up, something's changing, and we have the potential for a little bit more upside. Now, if we want to see that actually manifest as a technical detail, what do we need to see? Well, on the hourly time frame, we are going to need a break over the last major high, which for me, it's going to be 4240. That's quite a bit of move on the hourly time frame, and it's a significant move on the daily. However, if we are able to do that, that will be a nice defense of our EMA 26 on the daily, and then we would look for resistance at $54. Whew. NBAX on the daily time frame. So we have a nice, big, fat indecision candlestick today, an inside bar, and this is almost exactly what you wanna see. Look at this strength, outright rejection here on the part of the bulls. We see open, bulls push down again, uh, bears push down again. Bulls get a chance to respond, and now we have another inside bar. So we wanna go in and take a look at what the story is behind this inside bar, but our key range is 11.17 resistance, 10.03 support. On the four hour time frame, we're gonna be seeing a lot of chop. Here is our four hour higher lows. We lose our, our four hour higher lows into hourly consolidation and bulls look like they are trying to establish a four hour higher low at 10.03. We haven't moved far enough away for me to be convinced that that is going to be our higher low. In order to do that, I wanna see a bull break over 10, 11.17. Then we have pre-market resistance at 11.67. And then ultimately I'm gonna be focused on this big high day, 13.20 resistance if bulls can change the story. So far, a nice setup, but no real strength by either the bears or the bulls. And that is exactly what an inside bar equilibrium balance is all about. AHPI, before I even talk about it, I'm gonna clear this drawing. Another inside bar day. I'm seeing a lot of these show up, guys. And that really means that the general, uh, not the general market, but a lot of these names who are related to similar underlying issues are gonna be seeing similar situations <laughs> i realize that's a pretty generalized thing to say isn't it uh 2048 resistance in the inside bar 1639 and uh bears are currently in control of this they had it control for most of the day uh bulls managed to get a little bit of move to the upside but not a lot of defense either so real real big balance defending ema 12 on the daily if we lose 1633 our next support is down here almost a double triple bottom in the area of 1280 the low of this big candlestick is 1310 so 1310 to 1280 a 30 cent zone of support for us to look for should we lose this inside bar going into tomorrow's action on the four hour time frame here we see a four hour Trend change, there's a high, then when they're getting lower lows and lower highs, and I look for downside continuation at this point. The trend continues until it doesn't, and we must anticipate that we are going to get a lower low and lower high. On the hourly time frame, there's that same sort of pattern, our high, low, lower high, and now what we're gonna do is try and see if we can lose low day support, and if we break that inside bar bear, that will be an hourly continuation. So at this point, I would be expecting a break of 1639 more so than a bull break. I'm gonna be ready to play both sides, but the hourly trend and the four hour trend would suggest a loss of 1639. TDOC on the daily time frame, big breakout day. Look at that. So we had a pretty picture perfect open, a lot of volatility the last two days, and then we opened strong and broke right through 148.49, almost in blue sky breakout. It's gotta be. So bulls are in complete control, almost a complete Marabuzo close. RSI is at 70.54 and blue sky RSI does not matter as much. 
We're still going to be paying attention to it because we're going to watch our sub time frames for quicker action. But what we're going to be watching for primarily is price action and consolidation. So at this point, bulls are in complete control. Until they lose that control, we need to let them do their thing. On the four hour time frame, we are coming up against a very, very key resistance. Looks like we had our pre market high which was 168 regular market trading 168 and now after hours resistance 168 so if we get into uh let's go look at the 50 minute time frame and see what that looked like so that was not pre-market resistance that was me misreading the bars on my chart but it is all about this resistance right now 168 psychological the best possible thing for the bulls to do would be to wait until tomorrow morning to break this level come down establish a 50 minute higher low and then break 168 if they are able to break 168 with good volume we have a potential for a blue sky continuation and we got to be paying close close attention to that what you want to do to capitalize on those situations is look for setups that are similar to this in the morning we get our breakout we get five minute consolidation in the form of a bull flag we maintain the low and look for continuation another bull flag and then we get into our sideways sideways tightening action where we see that much needed consolidation that allows it to play over into the uh, higher time frames so we get oversold overbought on the five minute time frame and if we go to the 15 we can see that we're overbought here and likely overbought on the hourly as well and this is where that sideways action comes in handy if we get enough of it the hourly time frame gets a chance to cool off allows the bulls to have more breathing room for upside continuation so that's what we need to do over the course of the next few hours in after hours and our pre-market sessions rhhby so rhhby lost 36 psychological we managed to open above that level but we saw a attempt by the bulls but ultimately a loss of the key level here so let's go mark that in again there it is. We're going to call it 36 psychological, but I guess today the low Friday was 35.95. So, in fact, I'm not quite happy with that. What I want to do is understand what happened and when the break actually occurred. So right now on RHBBY, we don't have a lot of support. I would look down to 33.76 for my next support. And right now bears are in complete control of this candle of this candle well they are but of this ticker on the four hour time frame we see that we are getting close to oversold but not quite there yet so there's still a little bit of room to go and hourly bears are taking their time rejecting from ema8 setting lower highs lower lows and they can continue doing this for quite a while as long as you take these moments for that rsi indicator and that general sense of being oversold to cool off a little bit they can keep marching this down um so let's talk about some key levels we talked about support what do we need to do to change the story well we have a candidate for an oversold bounce we're going to need to see a big flush on the hourly time frame dip well below 30 maybe into the 25 so look for a little bounce and then we need to change the trend right now we need to establish a low right where we are and break the most previous high which is about 36.75 if we can do that we have a chance to change the hourly trend in which case we can look for a little bit of daily upside uh, but that would be the first of many requirements for us to get interested in a long position when there are better names out there and more interesting setups than RHBBY. IBO on the daily time frame. A beautiful indecision candlestick right against our EMA26 support. So this is a bearish attack that has fended off and bulls have managed to hold on for now. So that is an important thing to happen. What we're going to look for is a continued support at 124 from EMA 26 tomorrow. Then we're going to look for support at 115. If we lose that, low support is at 96 cents and one dollar psychological. In order to change that trend, we're going to go right to the hourly because I think that's going to be the most important. We are in a strong hourly downtrend. Bulls are going to need to establish a higher low right where they are now. Come up, maybe even a lower higher 145 and then a higher low and see if we can change the trend. There's a lot of room to work with. It's more likely we would set a lower high under 145 and then a higher low as opposed to 115 before we see upside continuation. But yeah, this is a sense of balance right now. We need to wait and see if the bulls have what it takes to change the hourly trend and the four hour trend and look for upside continuation with a hold of this EMA 26 daily support. MRN on the daily time frame. This is our last ticker, I believe. So let's go right over to the appropriate day. Look at that volatility. I love it. All right, this is interesting. Today we have another inside bar. So we're going to go in and look at our levels. 229.81 is our resistance. And then we also have key support at 26.25. Bears are in control. There's going to be a lot of momentum here. So it's going to come 
down to this this key support and if this is a double bottom and it certainly is five cents away from being a double bottom so absolutely key support critical support for bulls to uh i should say for yeah for bulls bulls to defend and the bears really want to see that break if they're able to break that key support our next support is going to be 25 19 and then nothing all the way down until 1931 on the daily time frame so let's jump right to the hour let's see what the story is here and there is this nice little trading area almost sideways but you know what it's really more of a descending triangle except we just don't have the data to support that we see our highs and we see this trading range established we see a break of support now we are trending down with a strong 15 minute downtrend and there that is lower highs lower lows currently testing ema 26 if we reject from that then we're gonna get another test of our support if that support fails then you know what happens but right now we have the option and possibility of establishing a 50 minute higher low into a trend change the best thing the bulls could do would be reject from ema 2012 right now uh, recuperate set a higher low and look for a trend change there breaking above our ema 26 changing the 50 minute trend and possibly looking at an hourly lower high underneath or what is this 2807 and then doing the same thing in a larger time frame that's how we change overall trends and that's how we look for a possible upside on the dailies big range though 2981 support i would not be completely surprised to see bulls uh, attempt to set that low and then set up another inside bar on uh, tomorrow's trading action a lot of room to work with to the upside uh, bears certainly have the advantage right now and a loss of that 26 25 support would certainly be bearish overall for air mrna that's it for today guys i hope that was useful for you and uh, if you have any questions post in youtube happy to answer questions there as well as on chart guys uh, we do have a couple of spots every day open for new members. So if you're interested in getting more engaged with our community, uh, check out chartguys.com. If you can't get in, but you're really keen on these videos, uh, send me a note. Uh, maybe I can reserve you a spot. I'm not sure. Of course I can. But uh, let me know. I'm happy to work with people who are passionate about charts and um, technical analysis. And I love this stuff. And I want all of the cool people that work together our community is great i could talk about it all day probably talk about it too much have a good day